So hi friends, in this example I am going to show the demo of Spring Cloud Security. With Spring Cloud Security we can easily uh, achieve OAuth 2 or OpenID Connect mechanism. So in this demo we are going to show OAuth 2 with single sign-on. So first what is OAuth 2? OAuth 2 is an authorization framework that enables the application to obtain limited access to the user account on the HTTP services such as Facebook, Gmail and GitHub. So it works by delegating the user authentication to the services that host the user account and authorizing the third party applications to access the user account. So instead of client application to hold user account and password, we are delegating our calls to the uh, application service HTTP service where the user credentials are hosted. Example, all users will be having Gmail account or Facebook or GitHub account. So instead of application to handle all the user related information and authenticating, we are directly uh, asking the application to log in with Facebook or Gmail. So now I am going to show the single si a demo of that uh, what to single sign on. So I am going to new Spring Starter project. I am going to name it as Spring cloud security so it is demo for spring cloud security next so I'm going to use web uh, component cloud auth 2 and cloud security and finish It's my main application, Spring Cloud, a uh, secure application. Now I am going to create one REST controller and points to authenticate the application. So I am going to name it as EMP REST controller. So add at the rate REST controller. Add the input statement. So I'm going to add two endpoints. Public collection employee get employees. Create a class employee and add some fields private in employee id private string name private int age here I private int uh, sorry string address I'm going to add setters and getters and constructors I'm going to add the constructors I'm going to add default constructor again I'm going to add the two string method save this I'm going to create a map int com integer comma employee Add corresponding input statements. Uh, 
one. If a uh, map is empty, so I'm using object util dot empty. I'm going to insert values into that. So the employee ID one two three. So I'm giving the name. Employee ID name is wrong. Age twenty five. Address is AP. Then I'm going to add other records. Two, four, Sita, age twenty-seven. Raju. Is thirty eight. Okay. If it is not empty, we are going to return the same map. So that is not empty. So I'll just return empty map. dot get value value is just the list of uh, employees so I need to add the request mapping value equal to the path I am giving slash emp and method is request method dot get so save it so I'm going to form that XML and going to disable this spring OAuth 2 and spring security to say it will it will work as a normal uh, REST application coming here so I'm going to start the application so the application is started in localhost 8080 so I'm going to hit localhost 8080 slash employee see it is not asking for any authentication mechanism so now I'm going to enable uh, the uh, spring cloud security and worth and I'm going to restart the application So if we go here and hit the endpoint, it is asking for the basic authentication because we have not used uh, uh, what to single sign on. So the user default Spring authentication credentials are username is user and password is whatever the password created here. I'm going to copy here user 
login so again we got the credentials so now I'm coming to here I'm going to stop the application so now I'm going to enable uh, what single sign-on so it is at the rate enable yeah it is able to input this thing so save this so we have added enable auth to SSO now I am coming to my application dot property I'm going to use AML, so I'm going to delete new file application dot AML. So I'm going to provide the GitHub what uh, uh, to credentials. If the application is running on localhost 8080, we can use this uh, GitHub uh, authentication URLs. So each each uh, what to we have to provide the client ID, client secret, and access token to get the val access token and user authorization URL. This is the URL we have we are going to authorize, and it is a form type. And uh, resource information is going to get using GitHub uh, user endpoint API dot GitHub dot com slash user. So now I'm going to start the application. So the application is started. So localhost employee. So when I hit the endpoint, I so it use we are configured that auth2 mechanism. So when it sees the endpoint, it automatically redirects read the application to uh, GitHub and authorization URL. So I'm going to open F12 to see the network flow. See it it called that. Uh, login client ID with the credentials whatever we have provided so once the application we authorize the application so it's redirecting to the our endpoint so, so the application is not holding the user credentials so we are validating with the github account so github gives us the access token whether based on that we will give the uh, uh, our response so now we are able to do the single sign on so I'm going to stop that so I'm going to add one more endpoint to insert map dot uh, so this uh, save employee just for testing purpose even save also I'm making as a get endpoint dot port it's path variable integer mpid import employee id comma no employee <laughs> employee id name is uh, bala age is 45 state is tn so now i want to give I want to uh, 
authenticate only this endpoint not the employee endpoint so I am going to extend web security config adapter adapter so it is having that configure method through that we can say what all the patterns we want to ma uh, validate authenticate with the uh, github endpoint so I am going to provide implementation of the public void configure C is capital small configure HTTP security dot authenticate dot and matches I'm going to give string values slash em slash r slash emp i i want to permit that permit all these endpoints we don't want to authenticate any other request we want to It throws exception. So we are not going to authorize slash or slash MP. Apart from that, any request comes, we want to authorize. So I'm going to save and restart the application. So my application is started. So I'm coming here. First, I want to clear my data history. Here, browser. So I'm going to hit that local host. EMP. See now this endpoint is not asking us to authenticate with the GitHub URL. So, but when I trying to insert some URL, so it's taking us to the GitHub endpoint. And it is authenticating and authorizing the request. So thank you friends.